Namaste guys, in this video I will cover how to buy a good laptop for you. So I got a lot of requests sir, which laptop I should buy, uh, I have this budget constraint, which should I buy, okay, is this laptop is good or bad and how should I know, you know about laptops, which should I buy. So first thing that you have to do is watch this video. Uh, the reason is that so that you can know what is the minimum requirement to run SOLIDWORKS and CISO CATIA. Okay, after that, watch this video so that you can know which laptop specifically you need to buy. So, I will tell you a method so that you can, you know, in future, if you are watching this video, you will know how to buy a right laptop for you. First thing that you have to do is, for example, I go to the Flipkart, it is an Indian website. But this methodology you can apply on Amazon as well. So first thing I will type is laptop because I want to buy a laptop. Now if you saw my video, this video, then you know that I recommend uh, to buy a 16 GB RAM laptop. So what I will do, I will go to something called filters, uh, move down, I will look for RAM capacity and select 16 GB RAM. After that it is asking for the processor. So my personal recommendation is go for i7, i9, i7, i9, i7. But most of the Indians, uh, I know that is you know middle class, middle class people. So they will prefer i5. So remove i7, i9 as per your requirement or as per your budget requirements. Okay. But I will recommend those laptops that I personally think that this should be the minimum you must have for a laptop. Now what I will do after that I will go downwards I will look for storage type I will choose SSD because SSD laptops are faster for example if you try to install SOLIDWORKS in my case it will take you know more than 2 hours to install SOLIDWORKS because I have a hard disk but if you have a SSD then it will take 10 minutes 10 to 20 minutes to install SOLIDWORKS so you can see there is a huge difference in between them so that is the reason I recommend SSD uh, how much SSD capacity RAM I recommend? I recommend one terabyte. Okay, one terabyte is not showing for some reason. Why not? Why there is not one terabyte option? In mobile version, it is showing me one terabyte option. I don't know why it's not here. Either they are sold out, maybe. After that, I will go to the processor generation. I need a 12th gen processor laptop don't buy any laptop below than 12th gen processor now it will start showing me the laptops so you can see that i will get msi i7 12th gen laptop with this kind of feature quite a good laptop personal recommendation uh, if you have money you can buy this one or you can give to me because i am broke as what i say i will vlog if i say that word so and there is a samsung laptop one thing that you need to keep in mind make sure make sure that the whatever laptop you are buying it has a service center in your city where you live the reason is that uh, it doesn't matter how, uh, which laptop you buy they might will get some issues and you have to go service center so it is better to have a good service center there and always check what is the service center rating it is a good rating or bad rating so it also you know help to uh, to know which brand is good now sometimes some people have confusion for example these two laptops have some price difference so which one should I buy between these two so what I will do in my case uh, I will simply click on add to compare let's add a, another one Lenovo as well click on compare now I will see which one is better uh, Intel i7 Talchan okay same configuration 12 gb just look at the price this one is most cheaper msi one after that i will go downwards uh, thin light laptops okay this one is gaming laptop so a good thing web camera hd this one has a better front camera but we are looking for a sold works perspective not for you know only fans because we are not a fans of only fans so I think HD and 720p is fine, so I will not look for this, it is expensive. i7 and you can see the clock speed 4.4, this one has higher but 
price is also there 16 GB DDR4 uh, storage capacity is same integrated iris so it doesn't have nvidia graphic card neither this one but this one has but price so will it affect any kind if i buy uh, internal integrated the answer is depends if you are you know person who is doing rendering or fruit simulation heavy fruit simulation then yes then you will need to buy this one laptop but if it is not then these two laptops are fine okay if i have to choose in these three laptops which one should i choose i will go for the msi because price is low and plus it has all the features that need i need okay just you know that if you are from american side or united kingdom this laptop will be much cheaper for you because in india we unfortunately have a very high taxes on electronic items so i think this laptop will you will get 400 to 500 dollars or 800 dollars uh, for that price uh, for those know it is near about 900 dollars uh, this price is near about 900 dollars but for 900 dollars you will get a better deal in america for laptop so for example it's amazon so you will get a better deal here you can see at 649 dollar you got these kind of features you got a graphic card nvidia graphic card for 649 so you are basically getting a better deal seriously guys you getting a better deal as compared to my country <sighs> really wish I... <laughs> okay now you can also use filter here you, you can see you can use set your price set uh, what is your price range filter uh, how you want to set and you can set what is your hard drive capacity what kind of hard drive type uh solid state drive personal recommendation is good for you flash drive flash size basically means ram size so 8 to 16 gb that i recommend so you can see that uh, i got now laptops quite a good laptop this one 12th gen processor i7 so but here in my case i'm getting i5 here you can see i7 is there uh, one more thing when you buy a laptop uh, it uh, uh, this thing is applied all over the world when you first suppose i want to buy this laptop make sure that you check what kind of offers are there because if you use certain credit card or debit card you will get extra discount so make sure always use that and you can see buy with exchange sometimes you know you have old laptop that you say hey remove this garbage so you can with exchange so it will also you know beneficial for you so my piece of advice do that it will save you a lot of money okay and that's followed i hope it this video helps you a lot how to buy a right laptop okay and one more thing that i forgot to tell how to know whether this laptop is good or not for example uh if i go to the rating six ratings most probably it's company rating so how can i know whether the rating is genuine or not my, my what i will do personally uh i will look for the ratings which has a higher number okay for example i will go to popularity uh price go to high relevance i think for example this laptop I will go here and I will look for the low ratings 4.3 stars I will go to the comments you can see that it has a one star rating so it means that it has a, some issues that is the reason somebody give me one star rating let's see it is sh uh, showing so instead of most helpful click on negative first always read the negative first comments you can see there is no negative comments here so either it is given by the but no company will give one star rating be i mean no company will give it one star rating so some guys have uh, some issues with it and they give it one star rating or yeah the flip card removed that uh, things i saw its feedback so i will just uh, telling you asus laptop has uh, something called heating issues personally i face a lot of my friends they all have heating issues so just a word for me don't look for the asus laptops most of them i heard personally that they have a heating issues plus screen issues so a big no for me from asus laptops 
personally even i have a asus mobile and they give me issues so don't recommend look for some other laptop but if you have a genuine customer service center you know in your country who knows they are giving good asus laptop so go for it but in india personally i don't have a good experience with asus laptops so no recommendation by me uh one more thing that this video is not sponsor <laughs> nobody will sponsor me as you can understand by youtube subscribe accounts so that's for all if you have any kind of doubts and queries uh you can ask thanks for watching and have a great day namaste